How long have we been using wool? Humans began domesticating sheep over 10,000 years ago, using their skins with the fur still attached. It was the Babylonians who started spinning wool in 4000 BC. Can we be allergic to wool? There is no known allergy to wool and any kind of reaction could be caused by the chemical treatments such as bleaching, moisturizing and dyeing. Stinky feet Wool can withstand the smell of feet and mold longer than synthetic fibers because it is a natural moisture repellent. In the gym, wool socks are the best choice. Wool was once worth as much as gold. The ransom for the release of King Richard I, the Lionheart, captured on his way back from the Third Crusade, was also paid in the highly valued English wool. He took 50,000 bags of wool, a full year's production. How much wool does a sheep produce? A single sheep produces 1 to 13 kilograms of wool per year. This amount depends greatly on race, nutrition, genetics and the time between each cut. On average, the shearing of a Tasmanian sheep is enough to make 8 sweaters and 61 pairs of socks, but it could be much more than that. The Guinness World Record belongs to the sheep named Chris, who in 2015 was found wandering South New Wales, Australia. It hadn't been shorn in years, growing up 41 kilograms of fleece, enough to produce 27 large men's suits. What animals produce wool? It's not only about the sheep, but there are other mammals that can be shorn of wool too, including alpacas, camels, beavers, otters, yaks, llamas, goats, and even rabbits. They all produce fibers that can be woven into yarns and fabrics. Can wool really keep you cool? Wool is one of the most hygroscopic fiber and it is also extremely breathable. It absorbs moisture from the air without giving the feeling of being wet, helping your body cool off in the summer. That's why it's even used in the desert.